Welcome everyone to AP Physics C, Kinematics. The C stands for calculus, so we'll be doing some calculus problems here. The first problem we're going to do is distance and displacement. And actually, for this, we only have one problem, because since this is AP Physics C, we are going to be able to do everything in one problem with this simple topic. So I run around a circular track with a radius of 25 meters for four and a quarter times before stopping. What is my distance? So there's my circle there, right? 25 meters, that's the radius. And then I go around one, two, three, four, and a quarter times. So I end right here. I'm going to put a star. So I end here. I started here. First question, what is my distance? So we know distance is the amount of ground you covered. So let's try, try to find out what that is. So what we should know is the circumference of a circle, circumference, is equal to 2 pi r. So what we know is 2 pi r being 25. So let's put this into our calculators, 2 pi r, 2 times pi times 25, and we get 157.08 meters. So that's how much it is if I was to go one time around. However, if I'm going four times and a quarter, I'm just multiplying this by 4.25. And then let's see what we get, 4.25. And then we get our answer 667, or I'm just going to put 668 meters. Okay. Next question is, what is my displacement? So when we look at this, we might think, oh, displacement. Uh, our displacement just must just be where we started to where we ended up. So this is where we ended up, finish. So it must just be from here to here. So this must be our displacement. However, that is not correct. That is not our displacement. Our displacement is actually from here. Oops. It's from here to here, which is slightly different, okay? If we were going from here to here, that'd be a quarter of the circumference. But this isn't a quarter of the circumference. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what this is. So since we know this side is 25, and this side is 25, we can figure out what this side here is C. I'm gonna call it C. So B, I'm gonna say C squared is equal to 25 squared plus 25 squared. And then I get this answer as, hold on, 25 squared times 2 square root, 35.36 uh, meters. All right? And again, we're only going to do one example for this because this should pretty much cover everything that we need to know for this, uh, for the distance and displacement. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.